So a few days back, I made this tutorial on how you can run DeepSeek R1 locally on your mobile phone or your Android phone. And a lot of people liked it. By the end of this video, we actually ended up running a large language model locally on my mobile phone. So this is the screen share of my mobile phone. Now, a lot of people asked if I wanted to run some other model, how do I do so, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to run any large language model, open source, large language model locally on your mobile phone. And if you watch this video at this point of time, you probably understand how to do that. But if you weren't able to figure it out, I'm going to show you how you can do it. So essentially over this setup itself, what we're using is Olama, which is essentially a library that will allow us to clone these large language models on either our laptops or the mobile phone in this scenario. And we are going to leverage that framework in order to do this. So at some point in the video, and uh, we'll go through the video itself, you will notice that I am running this specific command, Olama run deep seek R1, 1.5 billion parameter model. This is essentially telling my mobile or terminal that I want to get this model model using Olama. So if you wanted to, let's say, clone some other model, I'm going to go to Olama.com. And in here, you can see there are so many options. There is Llama 3.3, Fee 4, Mistral, Gemma 2. You need to click on the models and in the models, you can get and find any model that you want. So the only difference between you using DeepSeek R1 versus Llama 3.3 is the command that you need to run, right? So in this case, I'll do Olama run Llama 3.3. And instead of doing Olama run DeepSeek, I'm going to say Llama 3.3. So this is the only different thing that uh, you need to do in order to clone these large language models. With that in mind, let's jump right in. If you have not watched this video, now is the best time. I'm going to start the video from this point and we will end up running a large language model locally on our Android phone. And if you've already watched the video, I want some ideas with respect to what you guys want to see next. So some of the folks here uh, suggested that they wanted to use it for apps. And then some of them asked similar set of questions around this. So I'm going to explore use cases and in the upcoming few videos, I'll post more about these things. But as of right now, if you have not done this before, now is the time and let's jump in the video now. So I'm going to install the app now. It shows the app is unsafe and it's blocked. So I'm going to install anyways. And then I'm going to open the app. All right. So it looks like we are in the terminal now and we'll have to add a bunch of different commands in order to make this work. All right. So this might take a while. So bear with me. The first command we need to run is streamux setup storage. And this essentially will allow the app to get access to our storage. Or it should be Termux, oh, my bad. All right, so I'm going to run this command and this it looks like will give uh, access to the storage. So it looks like we have the access to storage now. The next thing we would do is PKG upgrade. All right, so once we put this command, this should essentially uh, download the latest version of the app on your device. The next thing we would want to do is, is install Git, CMake and Golang in our mobile phone so that we have access to the GitHub repository and so on and so forth. I'm going to do yes. It's going to take a while to install. All right, so the installation is complete. Now we're going to be downloading um, install git cmake and golang. Right. So these are the programming languages and packages that we will need in order to run these large language models. The next thing that we'll do is get the Olama framework in our mobile phone, which will allow us to clone these large language models and run them locally. All right. So I'm going to do Y here. You can see I'm uh, downloading and cloning Golang right now. And you can see it's going to take some time to download uh, everything in our mobile phone right now. All right, so it looks like everything is downloaded now and I'm going to do git clone. 
obviously i can just you know copy the command and paste it here so i'm just going to do that now i'm going to go to ulama and copy the command let me pause this all right so let's see if i can paste this here uh git clone depth one uh github ulama git so i want to clone this on my mobile phone because i have git installed i should be able to clone it now uh it looks like we already cloned this now let's go to this folder and do cd ulama all right so now we are inside the ulama folder now we need to generate the schema for it or rather activate the framework by running the go language so go generate so let's run this command it says no go files under this we want to generate go code but it does not look like it's working but i'm able to do the build here right so it looks like i'm able to build using go build all you can see i'm downloading all the packages that i will need in order to run this so it can take some time uh, in order to download all of these packages so stay with me it's similar to you doing pip install on python where it will download a bunch of different dependencies that your laptop or your computer will need in order to run sp specific things on your uh, local computer once this is downloaded the next step would be to kind of you know serve ulama which will essentially start ulama on your mobile phone and i think that would be the last command that we will run post that we will just clone the model that we need to run uh, in order to access it on your mobile phone on our mobile phone so it's taking some time to download i'm just going to wait this out now all right so post your packages are installed what you need to do is run this command dot slash olama serve ampersand and this will generate a new private key and start serving olama for you um i don't know if this is going to yeah so it appears that it is running on localhost 127.0.111434 meaning that we are now running olama on our mobile phone the next thing we need to do is specify the model that we want to run and in our case we are going to be using this deep sea car1 model uh, the smaller version 1.5 billion parameter model in order to run this on, in our mobile phone so let's go ahead and you know put the command to clone this all right so let's go ahead and put the command now i'm going to do dot slash olama then it's going to be run deep seek hyphen r1 and then 1.5 billion fingers crossed let's see if this works so it is now downloading the model for us which in my opinion does mean that we are all set and we may be able to run this large language model locally so i'm actually super happy that i was able to pull this off because a lot of these experiments that i've tried before this end up not working and this one seems to be heading in the direction where may where i may actually end up running this model on my mobile phone right and the best part about this is that not only can you chat with the model using the termux ui or the termux termux terminal you can actually um, you know serve this and allow different apps to use this large language model which is a huge thing because it's essentially an api endpoint that is now exposed for your applications to use and you know generate chat requests per se so i think just 400 more mb and we're there so i'm just gonna wait this out and i hope that by the end of this we are able to actually use this model on on our mobile phone there are also ways to then you know i'm also going to show you this article that i referred in order to get this running so if you've gone ahead and set this up on your mobile phone you may also want to clean up this post the setup itself because maybe you were just testing this so there is there are a set of instructions that you can do as well and i'm gonna paste the link to the documentation or link that i referred in order to get this working it's beautiful simple setup and it works apparently because i was able to get this running on my computer so let's just wait for a few more seconds looks like the download speed significantly dropped as we reach the final leg of the download <laughs> I think it happens to a lot of us for some weird reason, but it looks like it's picking up again now. So I'm just going to wait, wait until this is done. All right. And it looks like we are all set up. I am able to see the chat interface here and I'm going to just say hi. Note, this is deep seek R1 model running in my mobile phone and it looks awesome. So I was finally able to run this on my Android phone and it looks like uh, it is an API endpoint that I can also use for my applications when I want, right? So what's the meaning of life? And I'm going to put this forward and it looks like it's generating the chat for us. Obviously the UI isn't that beautiful, but it gets the job done. I mean, we 
we wanted to run a large language model like deep sea carbon on our mobile phone specifically android and it looks like we're able to i hope this kind of gives you a direction in scenarios where you're confused if you want to buy an android phone or an ios phone i mean android allows you to do all these sorts of things so at this point i think you're very clear with respect to where you want to go but awesome so what is the meaning of life it's the most profound and universal of the human queries it touches fundamental aspects in western philosophy thinkers like descartes existentialists and interpretation and empiricists oh man i'm having problems pronouncing these things but either ways we wanted to get it running on our android phone and here we are